I'm I been in the Bentley smoking moon hey. rocks. Hey. Pocket full of motherfucking blue, blue. guap. guap. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to On the Gas Show. We're back with another video. And guess who's back with us today? Uh huh. What's up? What's up? He last time they went to the Hoonigans, he was supposed to go on vacation, right? Yeah. So what happened was, we, I had booked everything for Colorado. Then Hoonigans hit us up, yeah. and they're like, "Hey, we're gonna go on these days." And I was like, "Cool, cool. I was down. Everything. We're all down." And I was like, "Wait, I got something going on that weekend." And it was a Colorado trip with my Chete and some homeboys and stuff. So I only got to go one day. Yeah. We got that done, and I was like, "Man, I'm gonna go snowboard again." So I went back for like a week. Yeah, my boy over there. Do you, do you know how to ski? I know how to snowboard. Okay, you know how yeah. to snowboard. Talking about that, my Chet actually messed up his leg. Oh, doing yeah. That, right? So there's different levels in skiing. There's uh, bunny slopes, there's greens, blues, and blacks. Okay. He's never been on the blue before, so he went on the blue for the first time and last Damn. time. Damn. Yeah. So right now, my boy, my Chete is handicapped. At, handicapped. He's disabled. Something, something on his leg. What do you fuck up? He tore his MCL or ACL. Uh, one of those so if you ever been skiing you know it's tough it's hard to slow down it's hard to stop and his somebody got in his way he tried to dodge him and his Damn. ski got caught he buckled and Damn, that's over. it. That's a wrap. Poor Macheta. I know he was trying to go work out, and you know his he has skinny legs, so everybody makes fun of his skinny legs. So he was actually going to the gym, working on legs every other day. Uh, but right now, it looks like he's done for uh, at least a month or two. Damn. Yeah. So, anyways, my boy Frank is back on the action. I know y'all motherfuckers been talking shit because I've been behind the camera. I don't even I don't really know how to fuck with this shit too much, but he's back. So videos will be 100 now for sure. Oh yeah, back to the quality. We so we're here. At Manny's, the truck is done. Is it ready? Yeah, ready. It's ready. So let's go outside, yeah. check it out. I know I came yesterday and dropped off the seats. But they had to do like little minor adjustments on the seats. But other than that, it seems like it's ready. I brought this truck probably like a month ago. I decided that I wanted to do a blow through on this truck. Kind of like a mini version of the sound truck that we got the black one, but now white, which is the one that I'll paint it. So I told Manny I want something simple, something not too crazy. He went crazy with that sound truck that we got. We went crazy. We got the whole box, the whole bed on the truck is full of speakers. This one has something not too crazy, just just halfway. You know, we got two 12s in the back. I told Manny I wanted some door panels, nothing crazy, just something simple. He went and added this. It's just paper. It's on the gas with a little bit of light. My request on this truck was I want a center console that is something not too crazy because the center console usually are kind of bulky and big and it just makes you feel uncomfortable sometimes on the single cab so i wanted something real small and i wanted a big screen and my boy manny got down along with the cup holders a couple of speakers that's the same the same screen that we use on the other giveaway truck that we have remember yeah it looks fucking huge yeah. big screen equalizer here nice center console big shout out to my boy speedy he got down with the seats in a short amount of notice i called up my boy speedy last week I was like, hey bro, I need some seats because this truck originally came with this big ass seats right here. They're nice and everything, but it just didn't flow with the truck. You know, it's just too big and bulky and it's just too much. The wood grain didn't go either. My boy Speedy hooked me up with the seats. This is kind of like a 454 style seat. Kind of like the, the ones on the sound truck. You know, we added the on the gas edition. Talking about the on the gas edition. Yesterday I made a post playing around on Instagram talking about would y'all like this truck to be a giveaway? And we got a lot of yes, bro. So, so what does that mean? Uh, the problem is we haven't even gotten to enjoy this truck. We haven't even, yeah, yeah. We got this truck, I brought it straight over here, wanted to do a sound system, and I was fucking around yesterday, and I think I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up because now, maybe, we're gonna give it away. We're gonna let y'all decide, so comment down below. If y'all really, really want this truck, we can make it happen. We need to have what? How many, how many comments should we have? We need to have at least, what, 500 to 1,000. I think we had 1,000 comments yeah. already, no? I think the most we've ever had was like 20, 2,500 or, 2, or 3,000 once. 1,000? Yeah. All right, so I'm not gonna make it that hard. I need 2,000 comments on the comment section on this video saying that y'all want this truck. If I get 2,000 comments, we're gonna give away this truck. Even though it's kind of like a bummer because like, I, like Frank said, we haven't even got this truck out yet. It's still here at the shop. We're picking it up. And uh, I guess I opened my mouth too too soon. Too soon. Too yeah. soon. <laughs> too soon, Junior. Like I said, door panels. We got the titty panel back here. 
center console with a couple of speakers. My boy did the headliner again. This truck is pretty much brand new from the inside. We got new carpet, new seats, new door panels, new center console, the back panel in the back, which is this. I don't know if you can, you guys can see. Let me throw a little bit of light. There you go. Simple, nice, and clean. Nothing too crazy, you know. Just, just like my boy Manny likes. So, if you're looking for a custom sound system, you know where to come. Where are we located, At 2124 Strawberry 20, in Pasadena. 2124 Strawberry Road right here on Pasadena, Texas. If you're around the area, if you know where the Strawberry Park is at, it's just down the road. ¿Qué bocina le pusiste? ¿Cuántas bocinas trae esta madre? Ok, le pusimos seis, uh, six and a half de DS-18s, ¿verdad? Uh, ok. Uh, le puse cuatro tweeters. ¿Dónde están? ¿Dos aquí? Dos allí y dos, dos acá. Ah, okay. uh, le puse un amplificador nomás para, la, para puro voz. Para, para voz. Uno, yeah. One amp, four, uh, six, six speakers and, and the tweeters. tweeters. Yeah, two okay. tweeters, yeah. Y ya después pues puse las dos sound downs en el blood through. Cada amplificador tiene su propia bocina, so okay. es un 3000 de trams. Le pusimos una batería. Aquí adentro está una XX Power. Una batería aquí. Tiene una batería okay. allá. Tiene una batería ahí, tiene la Altima enfrente también. So, ¿Cuántas pilas en total? Dos nada más. Dos. The one dos, here dos. and. Yeah, yeah. So we got six, six and a half voice speakers. We have four tweeters. We have two batteries, one in the front, one here, two amps. We put two 12s in the back, which is the X series, right? Yeah, X series. Que es lo más nuevo? La más nueva. It's the, the newest of the newest. Two. And also the box, it's fourth order? Yeah, six. Six order. Six okay. Order, yeah. well, whatever that is, uh, it's supposed to make the truck sound a lot lighter. I think that's what we got on the sound truck. Uh, but the sound truck has four 12s. This one only has two. Like I said, I didn't want to go too crazy with the box because the other truck is really, really heavy. We got about 1,500 pounds on the sound truck in the back. I didn't want this truck to be that heavy. We ended up going with just two 12s. Let's go to the back and check it out. Luckily, this truck, when I bought it, already had a snug top. We got the speakers in the back. We are missing a sticker right here on the gas tank. Yeah, we so, put a lot sticker on it. Yeah, but I do want it to reflect there. So you can clearly see the speakers. I believe the blow through is on this side? This side, yeah, just on that side, yeah. So I guess it blows the air and then it has like a little, what is it, like a little tunnel going through it's there. Tunnel, yeah. yeah. The port goes and it has a couple of turns and shit. And then it ends up going to the front. And that's how I guess you get the bass and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm not no professional. If I like it, I like it. I actually do like blow throughs. I remember when I was younger, I always wanted a blow through, and now everything's getting a blow through. It seems like it, right? Yeah, it seems like that's the new norm. Yeah. You did put bed liner here, right? Yeah, it was a bed liner. So we ended up putting bed liner. Like I said, this box is wrapped with vinyl. Vinyl? Yes, the case. Uh, critic. Critic? Critic, okay. Critic, yeah. There it is. Mini sound truck 2.0. Yeah. 2 Pretty Let's much. Yeah, let's turn it up. This is how it sounds. Back's pretty hard because we were here last time and they were barely tweaking it in and we're gonna finally hear the, the final product. I mean, it looks like it bangs. It bangs pretty hard. It sounds really, really nice. Now, I don't remember how to use this screen, so my boy man is going to show me how to use it. Because okay. remember, we did have the same. Le pusimos esta misma pantalla a la, a la, a la giveaway, the lifted giveaway, this any one that we had. We ended up putting a big screen like this one. So it's pretty much more like an iPad. Yeah, like an iPad. Puedes conectar tu USB. Yeah, there you go. Aquí tienes el EQ. Okay. So tiene para diferentes options. Okay. 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 Te lo voy a dejar nomás para que le des volume up and down y ya tú lo controlas acá. Okay. Okay. 
¿Dónde se le sube y se le baja? Aquí se le sube y se le baja. So pretty much like a big phone. Like right? a big phone, yeah. Okay. Volume up, volume down, ¿verdad? So okay, aquí tienes go. todos los settings, la música, el Bluetooth. Aquí uh, tienes todo, you know. Can we watch videos? Yeah, you can watch uh -huh. videos. Puedes agarrar a uh, internet y ya puedes agarrar todo lo que tú quieras. Pero si te conectas al teléfono. Sí, lo puedes agarrar, ya. Yeah. Pero de aquí se puede. Eh, como ahorita no jala, va. No, porque no tengo que conectar mi Pero teléfono. Pero si te conectas, puedes mirar el video de YouTube. Sí, aquí. lo puedes ver, ya. Yeah. Ahí lo puedes ver. Ahí lo puedes ver. Ahí lo puedes ver. Ahí lo puedes ver. Ahí lo pero con esto se puede hacer hotspot, ¿no? Like mm. this thing can have internet itself. That creo que sí, it. yeah, creo que sí porque tiene para 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 agarrar el el uh... Wi-Fi, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, if you can get you Wi-Fi, see? you can connect it to hotspot to uh, your phone. Okay. This pretty much they won't be using none of this. This esto lo va a hacer tú set up y ya se queda así. Yeah, se queda, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the the epicenter. Epicenter. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the woofer epicenter. Yeah, put volume up, todo para arriba, por oh, abajo, okay. the whole. Okay. Ya como trabaja el MIDI, el Twitter y todo eso. Depende de la canción que sea. So. Yeah. Esta, I like this one porque tiene todos los features, los settings que ocupa. Se está con madre en la pantalla. Yeah. I like it. ¿Y, ¿Y se quita o no? No, no se quita. Está, está por dentro. Ok, está activo el show. Yeah. Okay. Sound system sounds badass. If you're looking for any type of work like this, you need to come down here. My boy does from center consoles to sound systems behind the scene. Or if you want to go crazy, like we go crazy, we can do the whole tunnel deal. You just need to come up, set up your appointment. Like he said, he's right here in Pasadena, Pasadena, Texas, on Strawberry Road. 2124 Strawberry Road. You need 10, sound system. My boy does a lot of side-by-sides too. Haces carritos y todo el show, Yeah. My boy does a little bit of everything. Like like I said, if you're looking for something like something custom like this, you need to come set up your appointment because he is booking really, really fast. Also, everybody's trying to get ready for these shows. So April 2nd, HP2 Shootout is coming up. That's when everybody, pretty much all the shops get busy, busy because Everybody wants to pull up to the show, stunning, banging, brand new wheels, brand new tires, with a lot of exhaust and all the good stuff. We're gonna be end up taking up the truck to, to the shop right now, cleaning it up. Like I said, we do need to do a little bit of suspension work on this truck, just because it's really low. So, we can't drive it. We can't drive it like this. We're gonna be taking it to a setup. That's why we brought the trailer. We're gonna be loading it up right now. Truck sounds amazing. There you go. Let's load it up and take it back to the shop. Lisa Bees, don't forget the money, man. So, we got the mini sound truck with the big sound truck right here. Is this the uh, official introduction for these two? The, the first time they meet each other, This huh? is the first time they meet. The red one meets the white one. The white one meets the red one. Hopefully she don't get jealous of this one and this one don't get jealous of this one. But this one's on another level. This one had, like I said, 1,500 pounds in the bag. It had 412s. Two big ass amps for the bass, a bunch of speakers everywhere, bro. It was yeah, loud. lights and everything. Yeah, this one had everything was decked out. Now we decided to go with something different because it's a new year, new color, new interior, new speakers, pretty much everything new. The only thing that we haven't changed is the wheels. But I like these wheels. I like them. It actually goes with the truck because it has a little bit of black, has a little bit of red, so it kind of matches the the trim. We do have the Tahoe there. People want me to keep it white and put this trim, but I don't want to have two trucks that look similar, you know? Yeah, I saw a lot of comments saying like, it would be nice having them side by side. Yeah. I mean, it, here they are side by side. They are side by side, but uh, I just, white is nice. Don't get me wrong, but I just think maybe red, I don't know. The thing is, if we go crazy color with that one, we can't put the trim on. We're a big trim people, so we like trims. You know, it's just, we grew up with the trim style, so I kind of like, I decided if I want to take off the trim or leave it or you know whatnot. Shout out to my boy Lalo. He got down down with this with this truck. Like he did an outstanding job. We do have the Chevy Raptor, which y'all already put a name on the truck. The Chevy Raptors at Lalo's. We're gonna be picking it up this week. By the end of the week, which is Friday, we're gonna pick it up. And we do have some 22s 
with some 33s, mud terrain tires, that my boy, 45 tires and wheels, uh, he's hooking me up with that. Once we pick up the Chevy Raptor from Lalo, we'll go to the tire shop and mount the new wheels and tires. Here it is. The two baddies meet. They're so similar. This one actually has the Mexican trim as well. If you can see here, this one has the old trim that this one had. This one has the old Mexican Chevy front end that this one had before. It had the clear lights that this one had before. Uh, it has the cow hood. I mean, pretty much it's the same thing, but in red with a smaller sound system. Here they are. They meet for the very first time. Let us know. Like I said, I need about 2,000 comments on this video. If we get over 2,000 comments, I'm giving this truck away. If you don't want me to give it away, don't comment. If you want to take this truck home, make sure and comment down below. Put, put a little red dot. You seen that little red dot? If you have an iPhone, you're going to yeah. have a little red dot. So comment with the red dot and I need about 2,000, and I give this truck away. Like, we haven't, we just barely picked it up, bro. Like, we just, we haven't even done shit. We haven't had a chance to pimp it. Perrillo hasn't even had a chance to drive it. Yeah. I drove a little bit, that's he, it. He drove it a Oh, bit. damn. I, oh, he drove it on the way over there. True. Yeah, we got that on video. Yeah, he drove it on the way over there, which he didn't like because it was bouncy, which we are going to fix the suspension problem in the rear. Comment down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. That's it. So we got the truck on the lift. We're doing a full detail on this on this truck just because it's been at Manny's for quite some time. It's been over there for probably like a month. So we got the lift for the detail. This is the lift that we use to detail our stuff. So we got it on the lift. My boy Perrillo, Alex. What are we doing? We're doing a little polish or what? A little polish on these rims right here. Okay. So like I said, if you need any kind of wash, he washed the dunk last time. Did you get any uh any work? No, nobody hit you nah, up? Nah, nah, I didn't even think it was on the video, no. Frank. Yeah, it was? It was? Yeah. I didn't I saw the whole video, it wasn't there. Bro, you were probably high as fuck. Nah. You probably high as fuck. I did see it, I, it was there. Anyways, we're detailing the truck, polishing the wheels. We're gonna give it a nice wax right look, now let's too. Let's show them a little before and after. So look, uh, first of all, you, this is Speed Shine. First of all, what, what's up with them gloves? Oh, you know, the it's too oily, this thing right okay. here, so I don't want to yeah, get my that, hands all yeah. oily. So this is a speed shine. What you do with this, you just clean the rim, okay. you know. You, it's not a polish, it's just to clean it. You, you, you. Just to make sure you're not cleaning it with some dirt. Okay, because then you scratch it. Yes, sir. And okay. then... We That's got the actual polisher. It's a white, a white diamond. diamond. That, that go, we go, we go way back with this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been it's using that for a while, and it's it's been on the market forever. So yeah. that works pretty good. You actually put that here, and then... You know, you do all this, yes, and then sir. it will be black. And then uh, we can't go wrong with these no, towels right no, here. No, yeah, yeah. So these don't scratch, see. microfiber. So oh, this yeah. is just a clean, this is just a clean. Okay, so this is like the first deal. Just to clean with the, you know, okay. just to let me get see the light, dirt let me out. See a light. Okay. You know, it's just, it's just to get the dirt off. So the wheel's not too bad. It's not really that dirty. And then right here. This, this is, uh, you, you let it sit for about five minutes, Okay. you know? So it turns black, yeah, yeah. you know, like me, like how y'all said. We ain't even said that. Let me just say this, we're not professional detailers. This is just something that we just do uh, on the, yeah. We're not professional details. We're not showing you guys how to do it. This is just the way we clean the vehicles. On the gas way. Yeah, on the gas way. Now, there's professional out there that actually do a really nice job and do, do it like they supposed to do it. We're just doing a quick polish just to bring some shine on these wheels. All right, yes. so. You see how it turns así como Paco? Simon. So then when you do that, you just clean it with your little rag, with a clean rag. Keep cleaning and you're going to see the shine coming a lot. Mm. There you go. Oh yeah, there you go. Bam, 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 bam. That's actually, that's a good workout. It is, bro. I'm it's a really good workout. I'm almost sweating. And then to, lastly, you clean with a clean rag. Brand you know? new one. Okay. 
There you go. Oh, okay. We're still not done with the inside, yeah. though, but. That's how Alex does the wheel cleaning. The truck sounds really good. I'm impressed about the sound system. It actually sounds better than what I thought. So we're gonna be cleaning, doing a little full detail on the, the wheels, on the paint and everything, make it look nice, just because we like our stuff to look nice. While Alex is over there doing the cleaning and everything, look at this guy, just. Bro, what are you doing, bro? I'm, 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 I'm networking. <laughs> I'm networking, networking. Bro. Let me let me show the people. Show no, no, we're not gonna show them yet. We're not gonna show them yet. We got some new merch coming, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, yeah, no, we can't show y'all yet. Now, this is something that somebody else did and send it to him, and then he sends it to me, and then we do the approval. So don't think that this guy's actually doing the whole design. No, he didn't. <laughs> He didn't do no design. I'm, I'm coordinating the, the, the artwork. He's kind of like the like the middle artwork. guy that just passes the message. Not even the middle guy, bro. Not I'm, even. I'm, I'm coordinating everything, all right? I'm coordinating everything. So, you could be helping out my boy Alex out there, bro. Dude, what's he doing? Clean the wheels, bro. We clean, we, we, we clean the truck. Go, go we get clean the truck. The trip, bro. I mean, at least the... I just the, got out for 12 hours, too. Damn it, boy. <sighs> That's why... Yeah. Let's go back to the 101 details over here. Detail, man. So look, we all clean the rim. You see how it looks a little shiny? Oh, okay. We haven't cleaned the inside yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we'll do the final part. You know, you know these guys going to be talking shit, bro. I know they are. You know you these know. guys going to be talking mess I'm because uh, it's, oh, amateur. you miss, you miss that spot. Oh, you miss this spot. Oh, you, you know how they are, bro, on and the man, YouTube. All y'all that judge and hate on us. Much love to all the fans. We, I know y'all like to troll and shit. Nah, I love y'all. We all big, big trollers around here. We like to fuck around, which is a bit between us. You know what I mean? One down, three to go. Hey, it's good. I'll knock him out. There you go. Andale, ya le está ahí. While we do the polishing, Tiny plays around with the jack. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know that if you fall, that's it, right? That's it. Done. Yeah, they know about Machete. Machete is actually right now at home with the, with the fucked up leg. That's going to be Hey, uh, Frank, put a picture of Machete's leg up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put, the, put the video of Tito. Esta es la pata del machete. Y ahora que se fue para pa Colorado, le pasó esto. Si te caes, me chingas el cemento, compadre. Está chingado, es el pedo. It's already fucked up. We ain't got no insurance on this motherfucker, ¿no? ¿Cuál es el este güey? No, hombre. Va a salir caro, va a subir todo el pedo. They're going to be like, hey, let me see, let me see his, search, his history, bro. Está hasta el tronco de... Does he smoke it? Damn, he, he say he don't smoke that much anymore. What is up, everybody? It's your boy Perrillo out here, and uh, we're cleaning some wheels right now. As y'all can see, we got this nice over here, man. We got these wheels from Freddy. Shout out to Freddy LSS for providing us with these wheels. But yeah, I know we gotta clean them up a little bit. You know, we I drove the truck a little bit. I mean, the roads weren't too bad, but you know, we gotta clean them. That's what we gotta do. So as y'all can see, this is a little cleaning process right here. If it's all black like that, it's because we use this little thing called white diamond, you know? You put it on your little scrub thing right here. And then from there, you wait till it turns really black and then you clean it up. It's gonna end up looking something like this, as y'all can see. To me, I mean, I ain't a professional, you know, but it does look better, you know? But yeah, that, that was Perrillo Cam, Frank. Put Perrillo Cam back. People want it. Wait, aguacate? Yeah. Here's a parrillada. My boy Tiny came in clutch with some food. I love that guy. Anybody that gives me food, I love it. <laughs> well, what you get for us, Tiny? Uh, I got a parrillada. And I know Frank, you like quesadilla, so there's a quesadilla in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. There you go, Frank. Yeah, yeah. So this is the first time I ever eat on a 1200 horsepower truck. <laughs> Sitting on Astrodome Stadium seats. It's because uh, things are a little complicated. We got a whole bunch of junk over there. Well, not junk, parts on the table. Got a money counter, got a, some Can Am brackets, jumper cables, crackhead tail lights, weed, THC, some gummies uh, from California. Shout out to all my people from California. California. Uh, they're strong gummies because I ate one last time and it, I was done. <laughs> I was done. I actually need to organize that. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Let's go ahead and eat. Barrio cam right now. Barrio cam. Shit, bro. I'm gonna show these people how I prefer a taco. All right. So, so what you, hey, we got frijoles or no? I think there's frijoles and arroz in there. We're gonna make it work. Look at this. 
Que los fajitas, you know, unas tiritas. Ahí go, perfect. Los salchichas, right here. Too much. Mmm, mm, mijita. Handmade flour tortillas over there. Yes, sir. There you go. Costitas, you eat those alone. You don't put them here. They got bone, you know. That's how yeah. a dog eats. Yeah. <laughs> Grab the little caldito from right here, bro. And... There you go. No salsita. I hate when they do this. I really hate when they yeah, do this. Yeah, you bite it and it squirts everywhere. All right, Bell, I like squirters. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna blow all over me, bro. Chinga. No salsita right here. No tengan miedo a la salsa, eh. Damn, bro. We got some plates left over from, uh, right, right here. Right here. From Beto's birthday party. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. What y'all want to drink? Mmm. Hey, uh, we didn't say bye. Say bye. Los vemos. Los quiero mucho.